A few days ago, one of my favourite tools broke and I had to replace it. It made me realise how much I use certain tools around my workshop every day. More importantly, how I can't work without them. In this video, I'll list my favourite top five tools that probably aren't top of your list, but should be. Hi, John here from Clay Polygon, showing you how I make the costumes and props and the shows you love. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Number five on my list is a vacuum dust extractor. It's a bit big. Um, it's about £130. I bought this from Machine Mart, link down below. Now, I always wear a face mask, but I produce a hell of a lot of sawdust, resin dust, fiberglass dust, with the CNC machine sawing fiberglass especially. You need some way of getting rid of that dust from your workshop. Now, a normal vacuum cleaner just won't cut it. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried. I have killed two vacuum cleaners so far within the year actually as you can hear it's quite loud for the type of hobby that i have they are vital number four are these guys quick release or quick grip clamps bit of a mouthful i've got various different sizes large medium i've got some really small ones over there they have a release there that means you can slide them up and down and a pump action to quickly hold two things together. I love these things. Um, these are what actually broke, which made me do this video. These actually have some added benefits over my other ones. You can easily take the top off so you can get it through holes or tight spaces um, before you can pop it back on to, to clamp something. I'm kind of glad I had to buy new ones because my old ones were getting a bit... I've had to repair them a few times, let's leave it at that. But yeah, so quick release clamps, massively useful. Number three is the mixing pot. Now, I've gone through many different flora, margarine, yogurt pots in my time, trying to find, for me, the ideal mixing pot. And I settled on the little Greek yogurt pot. It's a great, I've got loads of them as you can see. It's a great size, it's a great depth, it's got a carrying handle, they're cheap, I go through a lot of them, and they are the ideal mixing pot for resins, silicones, dyes, you name it. I quite often mould things in them uh, because they've got a nice flat bottom. They are fantastic, and again, Every workshop should have a stack in the corner to use every day. Number two is, well, disposable gloves. I've got boxes of these around my workshop over there and I just can't live without disposable gloves. I go through dozens of these. The materials that you use to do this hobby are toxic, are bad for you, are irritating on your skin. Having a box of cheap disposable gloves saves endless conversations about how do I get this substance off my hand? Ah, oh, you see, they do rip sometimes though. I don't think disposable gloves is something that most people think about when thinking of the workshop. You know, they think of all of the materials that you need to make a prop and they normally think of a, a mask to protect their lungs, but these. Sometimes it's like the Krypton factor though, trying to get them on. These are latex, these are large, um, big hands. I've got a packet of small somewhere around here where my wife helps me do things. Every time I go into the workshop, the first thing I do is put a pair of these on. Sometimes I double them up if I'm doing a fiberglass or resin mould or something like that, which is particularly icky, technical term. I buy my disposable gloves from Amazon, uh, link down below. They're not expensive. Get them. 
Number one is the simple wooden mixing stick. You get 150 in a box and they are invaluable. They are, ah. Oh. I use them every single day. I buy them from CFS Net, link down below. What do I use them for? I use them for everything, from obviously mixing things. I use them as rulers, I use them as straight edges. I, I've used them to get this table to not rock on my really iffy floor in the workshop. I use them as steps to get things level. Um, I use them as wedges, both as a whole, in half that way, or in half that way, that is especially good for getting tiny amounts of dye out of silicon dye tubes and everything. I use them as note takers sometimes. I use them everywhere in my workshop. It's impossible, off the top of my head now, I can't list the million and one uses I use them for. Every workshop needs to have a couple of boxes of wooden mixing sticks in the corner that you can call upon to do anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.